What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video we're going to be talking about adjusting an existing site in Revit. So when it comes to creating topography in Revit, it's actually fairly straightforward and simple uh, and well, you can create any type of topography that you want. Uh, now the trouble is, in real life, it doesn't really work that way. You don't get to just build the topography or the terrain or the site uh, that you want. You actually have a site and then you have to work with that. You might use it as is and uh, in most cases you are going to be making some either slight or small or major modifications to that site. Now to help you out with that Revit actually has a tool and a workflow uh, that helps you change the terrain. So you model the existing terrain and then you adjust it uh, or modify it towards the needs of your building. And that's exactly what we're going to be exploring in today's video. How to take an existing site in Revit and how to modify it and adjust it in order to place your building there. Uh, now before we get started with that tutorial, if you want to learn pretty much everything that there is to know about site design and site modeling in Revit, I have a course on that. It's called Site Design in Revit. It's available on my website, balkanarctic.com, and it's the first link just below the video. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in that. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I make multiple tutorials and make sure to like this video. It helps me uh, promote the video. It helps uh, promote the video to other people that might want to see it. So that's always nice. Okay, anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. Uh, so let's immediately get started by going to Models, then going to New. And for the template file, I'm just going to be using the architecture design template, the metric version. So let me just select that. If you want to check out my templates, you can find them on my website, balkanarctic.com. That is going to be the third link in the description. Anyways, let's just click OK and let's let Revit start right up. OK, uh, so this being a site tutorial and a site uh, or topography modeling video, uh, let's go straight to the site plan. Uh, now here in the site plan, let's create some topography and then we're going to be editing that topography because usually that's how it works. You first get some, uh, basically you get uh, uh, some measurements or some points uh, for your topography, uh, just uh, outlining the heights and elevations and the, the shapes and so on. And then uh, once you model that in Revit, then it's time to edit that, make all of the excavations, make all of the changes and edits to that site. So let's start off by modeling the original site. What what we find uh, kind of uh, uh, what what we find uh, when we um, go to the to the site of the build where the building is going to be built. So uh, let's go here to the uh, Tobo surface, and then I'm going to be placing some points. So I'm just going to set this to zero. And then let's place a set of points at zero. Next, let's switch this to 200. So this is 200 centimeters to, to be exact. And then let's add some points at 200. Next, let's go to 500. And then let's place a few points there. And then finally, let's go to something like 800 and place a few points. Perhaps we can just go like that. There we go. Hit finish. Go to the uh, default 3D view. And this is what we get. So this is a site uh, for our building. And let's say that we want to model our building here. And we want the elevation of the building to be at around two meters height. So that's going to be around this contour line. And now obviously the problem is the distance to the next contour line is quite short. If we measure it here, let's go to the measure tool. Here, if I measure this, it's like three meters, which is definitely not enough for a building. And I don't want the building to be kind of dug in. So we have to make some esca esca excavations and we have to modify the terrain a little bit. So for that, I'm just going to switch to 3D view. And what you want to do is go to the Massing in the Site tab, go to Modify Site, and here we have Graded Region. Now, what Graded Region does, it basically introduces, uh, it introduces phasing to your topography. So phasing in Revit is what allows you to add a timeline to your model, perhaps something that's already built uh, and differentiate that, for example, walls that are already built from the walls that are supposed to be built and the walls that are 
maybe something that's going to be built in the distant future if the client uh, finds the budget for that. So that's what we're going to be using for that, for this. Now, uh, don't worry, uh, it's not going to be complicated. Uh, we're just going to be using uh, the basic approach when it comes to phasing. And the only thing that you need to know about phasing is that if you select any element in Revit, if you scroll down here, it's going to give you the phasing kind of uh, parameters, which is going to include the phase created as well as phase demolished. So when you create something and when you demolish it, if it says none, that means that this is never going to be demolished, basically. Okay. So we have our original site and now let's go to graded region. Now, once you click on the graded region, it's going to give you this little menu that asks you, do you want to create a new topography exactly like the existing one? Or do you want to create topography based on the parameter points? So what does this mean? Well, as I said, the uh, Revit has the ability to introduce phasing. And for example, we can say that this site is in the existing phase. But now we have to create a completely new site over this one. So basically we're going to have two sites over one another. And the second one is going to be the newly created site or the modified site. So that's basically how it works. You have two sites over each other. Uh, the old one is well, the, the existing and then the new one is uh, with all of the modifications you're going to build. And then you can show like the difference uh, in that site and what has to has to get excavated. Anyways, uh, so we have a couple of options. This one, uh, the create uh, topo surface based on perimeter points only. Uh, and then let me select the surface. Basically what it's going to do is going to create a new topo surface, but it's only going to have all of the exterior points. So the ones on the perimeter, nothing in the middle. So it's going to be kind of flat in the middle. So it already makes some changes. As you can see here, we have two um, site plans or two uh, topographies overlaid over one another and they kind of look odd. So I don't really like to use this. This I, I, I rarely find, found a situation where this works good. So let me go back. Let's go again to created region. And in this case, let's create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one. So it's just going to duplicate this one. And then you click on the topo surface. And as you can see, uh, it looks like it went into edit mode, but it's actually edit mode for the new surface. Now what you can do here is, and let me just move one of these lines, for example, this one. See how when you move that, you get that dashed line below. And you can see, well, it's not actually below, it's above because we have kind of went in ground. So basically the dashed line shows you the kind of the previous terrain. And this one, the, the, the regular one shows you the new one. If I move this, there we go. So you can either kind of dig in as we're doing right now, or you can add new terrain over that. Just like so. There we go. And then obviously, if you go into wireframe mode, you can see both. So that's useful, especially in the site plan, you can modify that. So here, if we just let's hit, hit finish. And if I just change the, uh, the view template to none, and then I can change this to wireframe, see how it adds those dashed lines. So we can see where the old terrain was and then where the new one is or where the old contour lines were and then the new ones. So the old ones will always be dashed. Anyway, so let's go now into edit surface and now we can start playing around with our topography. So you can move this in a little bit. Uh, and something that you'll notice if you just exit out of this is that if you select the, the one in the bottom, uh, that's going to be the one that's kind of the, the older one. And here, as you can see, the phase demolished, it gets included there. So perhaps it would be nice to have the phase created at existing and then the phase demolished is new construction. And then the new one is this one. And here it's only created in the new construction. And also here it's going to report the net cut fill. So how much you have to cut or to add earth in order to modify this terrain. So currently we're kind of minus, well, quite a bit of earth. Uh, but anyways, let's just select this. And then uh, this is the existing one. So let's go to the new one. There's the one new construction, going to edit surface. And now you can start making modifications. So I'm just going to pull these ones out. Gonna add a bit more earth or terrain here. And then these that are higher at five meters, I'm going to push them a little bit back like so. 
Uh, you can always go to the site plan, do the same thing. What they like to do is go to the site plan and then go to copy multiple, check multiple, and then just copy a few of these, which are kind of at five, and then select these one, which are at two, and then copy those as well. So I'm just going to copy them inward, just a little bit like that. And this now creates the space for our building. So we can go like that. Perfect. Finish, go to the 3D view. This is what that looks like. Uh, now, by default, it's going to show you both uh, because when you go to the properties panel and scroll all the way down, here you also have phasing. Now, this is only reporting the phasing filter that you see over your uh, model. So each view has like a phasing filter. So currently it's set to show all. If I set it to show new, it only shows the new terrain, which looks like this. But if I sh change it to show previous, let's see. Show previous phase. Oops, that's the existing. Okay, here we go. So this one is the old one. So it's show previous plus, plus demolition. It shows the old topography or the uh, existing site. And then when you go to show new, it shows the new site. And now as you can see, we have the, the place for our building, which is quite cool. And also here it's reporting the net cut fill as well as how much you have to fill and how much you have to cut. So it's a really cool way of making modifications to your topography and it does that in a very, uh, a very useful approach or a building information modeling approach where it calculates the earth and it helps you kind of uh, uh, save both the original and the new one and then you can make all of the accurate plans. See, so you can see how the how the topo surface has been modified. You can see all of the little contour lines. I think this is really good uh, for just um, creating all of the plans that are necessary for excavation work. So there you go. That's how you modify an existing site in Revit. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about uh, site design in Revit, I have a whole course. I explain all of this plus much, much more. Please check it out. It's going to be the first link just below the video. Takes you to my website, balkanarctic.com. There I have this course as well as many other courses, over a hundred hours of content so far, and I'm adding more each month. So I hope you enjoy that. Never, never mind. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one, which will be in a couple of days. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video, leave any comments if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.